YouTube. Welcome to Taylor Talks Tales. I've got another book review for you today and I'm very excited for it. It was a book that I actually read over the summer of 2019 but because it's still very fresh in my mind and because it's a contender for um, one of my favorite books of the year I wanted to do a full-fledged review on it. So today I'm going to be reviewing Wanderers by Chuck Wendig. So this book I was very excited for. Um, I had heard about it and it just seemed right up my alley because um, two of my favorite books that are probably at the top of my favorite books list are The Stand and Swan Song um, and they are post-apocalyptic fiction that takes place in the United States and you're it, it's sort of this like big epic saga of just all these things going on and you follow these characters and you get this taste of Americana but also of you know humanity um, fighting against good and evil and just all, all this stuff. I, I love post-apocalyptic fiction. It's, if I had to pick like one subgenre that's my favorite, it would be that. Um, any, anything apocalyptic-y, I just, and yes, I made up that word, but I don't care. Um, it's really good. And so this book, I was very excited for. I, I pretty much bought it like the day it came out and was not disappointed even though it cost me like 30 bucks because this thing is huge. It is like almost 800 pages, um, but it's 800 pages of it being worth it. So I'm gonna read the inside plot for you and then we're gonna get started on the meaty parts of the video. A decadent rock star, a deeply religious radio host, a disgraced scientist, and a teenage girl who may be the world's last hope. From the mind of Chuck Wendig comes a magnum opus, a story about survival that's not just about you and me, but all of us together. Shayna wakes up one morning to discover her little sister in the grip of a strange malady. She appears to be sleepwalking. She cannot talk and cannot be woken up, and she is heading with inexorable determination to a destination that only she knows. But Shayna and her sister are not alone. Soon they are joined by a flock of sleepwalkers from across America on the same mysterious journey. And, like Shayna, there are other shepherds who follow the flock to protect their friends and family on the long, dark road ahead. For on their journey, they will discover an America convulsed with terror and violence, where this apocalyptic epidemic proves less dangerous than the fear of it. And as the rest of society collapses all around them, and an ultra-violent militia threatens to exterminate them, the fate of the sleepwalkers depends on unraveling the mystery behind the epidemic. The terrifying secret will either tear the nation apart, or bring the survivors together to make a shattered world. Alright. Oh, this was great. I enjoyed it. Five out of five stars for me, and here's why. This book touches on a lot of issues, never in a preachy way, but it explores so much, and it's very rooted in what's going on right now, like especially in the United States with you know right far right wing extremists and terror groups, um, and just sort of this kind of animosity people have towards somebody else who doesn't believe the same thing as them, and this distrust of outsiders, and this ability to like pin hate onto something. Um, there are definitely themes of that in here. Um, and, and it's really interesting because there are a lot of different, there's several different like storylines that are in this. And it does something that I really like, is which is where there's a book that has multiple storylines going in it, and ultimately everything comes together at some point. And I love that. I love it when you're following one character and it seems like they're never going to interact with another character from the, the different storyline and then they do and you're like, oh, this is awesome. So everything does come together and every, you know, character, no matter how big or small, plays a role in the ultimate story of this. Um, and, and we follow several different stories. We do follow um, Shayna and her sister. They're introduced at the very beginning. Um, her sister is the one who's sleepwalking and is actually the first person who starts to sleepwalk, um, which is, does play an important thing. Um, because all these sleepwalkers, they, they start out, I think it was actually in Pennsylvania, and then they start, there's one, and then a couple join, and then there's like a big group of people. And it's not like tons, it's not like everybody is getting up and sleepwalking. At first when I picked up this book, I thought it was just gonna be everyone sleepwalking, and then there's like a couple people who aren't. But it actually is still a fairly small group, but they cannot be stopped and they just keep going, and people have mixed feelings about it. Some people think that it's, you know, a sign from God. Some people think it's a sign from the devil. Some people are just like, this is just making me super uncomfortable. What is this? Um, 
And so it's dealing with that. It's also, you follow, um, like the CDC and some, you know, government people who are trying to solve this because they think it's probably, you know, biological in nature. Um, and then you just, you also follow a character who, um, is deeply religious and he kind of ignites a fire of hatred on accident against the flock and and all this stuff plays a role. And what's really cool with this book is that, I don't want to give too much away, but it takes a turn. Um, because when I was first was reading it, I was kind of like, oh, this is really interesting. But it almost seemed like, where is this going to go at one point? And then it takes a turn. And it was this big epic turn. And I'm like, yes, this is great. I was not expecting that, but it did it. And once you do that, then it's just like this really intense ride for the like second half of the book where you're like, oh, oh wow, you know, and you're almost like, I definitely was biting my nails, you know, at some point because you're like, oh man, this is like huge, this is gigantic, and what if this, you know, I, I didn't know how the book was going to end, I was really worried about that because I felt like it could end one way or it could end another way, and I wasn't sure what to do, um, oh yeah, it's just so good, I don't know if I would say it's I don't think it's going to replace The Stand or Swan Song, um, or maybe even Station Eleven as my favorite post-apocalyptic books, but he, it's really up there. It's in the top five. It's, it's just this big sweep of America and exploring humanity and following characters who are really, I think, pretty well developed. Um, and it also even deals with technology. And I also think, too, I really liked... Um, I feel like I really wish more authors would do this, where it starts out with, you know, this is the first thing, but it has like an, a little thing from a radio. So at the beginning of each chapter, there's actually a little, I don't know what you'd call that. Oh, I really wish I knew what that was called. But basically, every single chapter, like you've got Black Swan, which Black Swan is actually plays a role in it, and it's like this giant supercomputer, because there's like a lot of technology um, in this book and how it plays a role in the apocalypse. <laughs> um, and so it in includes little clips and excerpts in the book that also give it more of that feel like, oh, oh, interesting. This is how people are reacting because it has like t bits of Twitter or, um, you know, people posting on Instagram or stuff like that. So it does add to that feel of it being very like modern. Um, because it's basically supposed to take place right kind of now, um, or like a couple years into the future. So it's very, very contemporary, very present, um, without necessarily dating itself. So overall, I definitely think you should check this out. It is a big book, but I think it's worth it, especially like just plug through the first 20, 30 percent. Um, especially there once you get to the slightly slow part just push through just know there's a couple chapters and then there's going to be this it's going to take a turn and then you're going to be really impressed by the turn i think um and the ending is i definitely definitely want to do a spoilery review of this book where we can really talk in depth about it because there are just so many things to talk about this book it is going to be a very good book club book um Except for the fact that I know a lot of book clubs tend not to want to do really big books like this. But if you have the patience for it, like maybe if you picked this out over like, you know, if you're gonna, if you do a book club like once a month and then there's a month that nobody can make, maybe this could be the book that, you know, it takes two months to read. Um, it didn't take me two months to read, but I'm a faster reader and also like, you know, I was really into it. But it still took me a little while because... This book got me through a brutal summer. Uh, summer 2019 was really hard. I was putting in so many hours at this incredibly thankless job, and it, yeah, it was it was just miserable. But then I'd come back um, home and just dive into this, and it made me feel so much better. Like I, I don't know what it is about post-apocalyptic fiction or just apocalyptic fiction or like fiction where you're dealing with some sort of crisis, but I think it makes me appreciate life a little bit more, even though that sounds cheesy, but I do think it makes me really stop and think, oh, I'm really glad that I have running water. I'm really glad that people aren't dying of the plague. I'm really glad that 
zombies aren't busting down my door. Even if it would be fun to take some of them out, but <laughs> um, overall, 5 out of 5 star read. Um, may not be perfect, and I think if you're super, super conservative, there may be a few elements in this you might be pissed off at, but honestly, you know, if you're really hating on people, you kind of deserve to get poked at, I think. So, anyway, please check out Wanderers. It's worth it. It's great. Um, and if you've read it, let me know what you thought of it. Um, because I definitely, this is one of the books I really want to promote and just tell people you should go out and read it. It's, it's worth, I don't think it's actually really hyped, but for people who are hyping it up, it's worth the hype, in my opinion. Um, so anyway, thank you so much. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you, you know, are reading, if you're planning on reading this. Um, and thank you so much. Have a great day and happy reading.